Good day. In this video, you're going to learn about introduction to statistics, data. Data. Data is often described as ungrouped or grouped. Ungrouped data is data given as individual data points. Groups data is data given in intervals or range. Ungrouped data. We have the following variables and formula. For your mean, it is represented as x bar. Okay. To calculate now your mean, your mean now would be equal to x bar is equal to summation of your individual elements all over the total number of elements okay, as sigma x all over n. For your standard deviation, it is represented as s. Your s now would be equal to the square root of summation of the following the quantity of individual element minus your mean squared all over n minus 1. For your sample variance, you're just going to square whatever values you have calculated for standard deviation as s squared. For population deviation, sigma, okay, your sigma would be equal to the square root of the summation of individual element minus your mean squared all over the number of elements. To determine now your population variance, population variance is calculated as population deviation squared or sigma squared. For z-score, it is represented as z. z now would be equal to individual element minus your mean all over your population deviation. So we have this example. The following data has been obtained as 4, 6, 8, 4, and 10. To determine the standard deviation, sample variance, population deviation, and population variance, and the corresponding z-scores for each individual point. So we have two versions. In this video, we are going to consider the non tally solution or the non-frequency column on the uh, table tabular solution. So here are the steps for the solution for this example. For the first one, solve the mean and then construct a table of four col columns. Then on the second column, you are going to subtract each element with the mean as your individual element minus your mean or x minus x bar. On the third column, each row values at the second column are x minus x bar quantity squared. Then get the sum as summation of your quantity x minus x bar squared or your individual element minus the mean when it is squared. Then solve for standard deviation, sample variance, population deviation, population variance. Lastly, solve for this z-score of each corresponding individual element at the fourth column. Now, let's proceed with the quantitative solution. First one is mean. How are you going to get your mean or your x bar? x bar now is calculated as summation of individual elements all over the total number of individual elements. So the individual elements are 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 4 plus 10 all over the number of individual elements, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5, okay, the whole quantity now gives us 6.5. Four. Okay. Now, if we're going to construct the table on the leftmost side of the table, you're going to enlist your individual elements as under x. Okay. For this example, we have 4, 6, 8, 4, and 10. For the second column, we're going to determine the individual element minus 
the mean as 4 minus 6.4 for the second row, okay, which gives us negative 2.4. And for the third row, 6 minus 6.4 gives us negative 0 0.4. And for the fourth row, 8 minus 6.4 gives us 1.6, and so on. For the third column, we're going to square the values we got here, okay, on your second column. For the second row, okay, negative 2.4, we're going to square it, gives us 5.76, okay. Negative 0 0.4 squared gives us 0.16, okay. For 1.6, the square of it is 2.56. Then the square of negative 2.4 gives us 5.76. And lastly, okay, the square of 3.6 gives us 12.96. If we're going to add up the values from 5.76 to 12.96, this gives us 27.2. And lastly, we have your fourth column. Okay. Your fourth column entails the z score of the corresponding z-scores for each individual element okay, or each row. So to calculate now for your z-score, whatever values you got on the second column, okay, you're going to divide it to your sigma. But how are you going to determine your sigma or your population variance? So First, we need to determine your population deviation. Your population deviation is equal to the square, square root of the summation of your third column or quantity individual elements minus your mean squared all over the number of elements. Okay. This gives us 27.2 all over how many elements we have on this example as five, okay? 27.2 all over five is equal to 2.33. To determine now your z-score, this gives us negative 2.4, okay? For your element four here, negative 2.4 all over your population deviation, 2.33, which gives us negative 1.03. For your element 6 here, negative 0 0.4 all over your population deviation gives us negative 0.17. And for your element 8, okay, 1.6 all over your population deviation here as 2.33 gives us 0 0.69. And for Element 4, okay, negative 2.4 all over 2.33 gives us negative 1.03. And for your element 10, which gives us 3.6 all over 2.33 would be equal to 1.55. To solve now for your standard deviation, S now would be equal to the square root of summation of your individual element minus your mean squared all over n minus one or the number of element minus one. In this example, the square root of 27.2 all over five minus one gives us 2.61. For sample variance, you're just going to square whatever value you had gotten for standard deviation as 2.61 squared gives us six. 0.81. And for your population deviation, okay, which is explained earlier, if you're going to square the value of 2.33, this gives us your population variance okay, as 5.43. Now that concludes my presentation for the first version of solution for ungrouped data. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.
Thank you.